Hi, it's Sharon Lipinski, the Habit Superhero, and welcome to this week's Habit Huddle, where I share a quick tip, an insight, or a strategy that you can use to master your habits. Because the only thing that's standing between you and the life you want are the good habits you wish you had and the bad habits you wish you didn't. This week, we're talking about willpower versus habits. Which one wins in battle? The best definition we have for willpower today is that it's a form of mental energy, and you use this mental energy to control thoughts, feelings, impulses, desires, performance. It's an incredibly valuable tool. You're using it all the time. You use it to do things like decide to exercise, to eat fruits and vegetables, to not use drugs and alcohol. Your willpower helps you make good decisions about your long-term physical health. And you use it to plan for retirement and set goals and stop procrastinating. Your willpower helps you do things that are going to be good for you in the future. But right now, well, right now they kind of suck. And you use it to monitor your progress, to focus on a task, to show up to work on time, to finish your projects on time. Your willpower helps you succeed in your work. And you use it to do things like restrain the impulse to yell at somebody or to say something inappropriate. Your willpower helps you protect your social relationships. So willpower is great, but it's also unreliable. The amount of willpower that you have available to you is going to ebb and flow throughout the day for a variety of reasons, and we'll get into those in future videos. But what that means is that sometimes your willpower isn't there for you when you need it. And that's because something very different is going on in the brain when you do something that requires your willpower versus when you do something that's a habit. So let's say you think of something you need to do. I need to exercise, I need to cook some healthy food tonight, I need to make a dentist appointment, I need to focus on this project until it's done. So you think of something you need to do and your prefrontal cortex is gonna fire up. Your prefrontal cortex is the part of your brain that sits above your eyes. It is the most recently evolved part of our brain. It's incredibly advanced and powerful, but it's intensive. It takes a lot of energy and a lot of effort to run. So the prefrontal cortex fires up and it communicates in a loop with your striatum. The striatum is the reward center, the habit center, and the goal-motivated behavior center of your brain. And it sits on top of your brain stem, if you can just imagine going into the center of your skull. So in this loop that's being created, your brain is working really hard. All the neurons along that pathway are firing. But here's the problem. Your brain is lazy. It doesn't want to do all of that work and it can bail out of it at any point in time. It might not even fire up that prefrontal cortex at all. It might just say, you know what? I'll exercise tomorrow. And just like that, you're done. It can start the process. Let's say you pull out your phone, you call your dentist, and for whatever reason, you get distracted or disconnected and you say, you know what? I'll deal with that tomorrow. Your brain is bailed. You could be focusing on your project for 20 minutes when you get a phone call, somebody talks to you, something happens, you get distracted and that's it. It might be an hour, it might be a day, it might be a month before you get back to that project. But that's not the case with habits. What's happening in your brain when you engage in a habit is very, very different. When you launch into a habit, your striatum fires up, not your prefrontal cortex. And it's just the neurons at the beginning of the task that fire and the ones at the end of the task that fire. And the rest of that time, you're on autopilot. With willpower, you have to think about what you want to do. But when something is a habit, you don't think about it. You don't decide to do it. You don't forget to brush your teeth in the morning. You don't talk yourself out of your morning cup of coffee. Those things are happening automatically and unconsciously. They're bypassing your willpower and they're bypassing your prefrontal cortex. And habits are a wonderful productivity tool for your brain. It frees you up for thinking about what you need to do when you get to work or what errands you need to run on the way home or how you're gonna handle this difficult situation you've got going on. 
or it frees you up for doing nothing because it literally takes less energy to run a habit because there are so many fewer neurons firing. And your brain is lazy. It doesn't want to fire up that prefrontal cortex if it doesn't have to or for any longer than it has to, too. And that is why habits beat willpower every single time. Your brain loves habits. It loves this neurological shortcut. It loves being on autopilot. A habit is literally the path of least resistance and your brain takes it automatically without you having to think about it or decide to do it. But I think that's good news because what that means is that if you can make a habit of these things you really shouldn't be thinking about, the things in your life that should be happening automatically and unconsciously, well then you have your willpower left over for the times when you do really need it. Thanks for joining me for this week's Habit Huddle. If you enjoyed the episode, click subscribe and you'll get more bite-sized tips on mastering your habits. If you have a specific question on your situation, leave it in the comments and I might answer it in a future video.